Haiti still faces massive challenges in the wake of the January 2010 earthquake. Media coverage of the first year since the disaster is focused on government inaction, the slow pace of recovery, and the seeming inability of Haiti to recover. But the story has another side, Haitians helping Haitians. The earthquake teach us conviviality, uh, uh, which is uh, how we can live together as brother and sister, how we can be uh, support, we can share support and uh, one another and sharing. Church World Service partners in Haiti also acknowledge problems, but they say the world has forgotten that Haiti needs sustainable development, development that helps as many as possible and gives Haitians a voice in their future. If you need a sustainable change, you should involve local people they should participate. That's a good model also of partnership. In rural areas, food cooperatives like this one, which receive support from Church World Service, are proof that Haitians are living lives of quiet dignity, working together toward the common good. The co-ops pull resources and provide credit to members. They also provide help and security for those from Port-au-Prince restarting their lives. Movement cooperative là qui s'allie en gros. Lorsque vous vivez dans communauté, vous commencez à parler avec nous pour sensibiliser vous, pour mettre vous ensemble. As Haitians and others commemorate the 2010 earthquake, remember victims and support survivors, Church World Service is committed to a more sustainable future for all Haitians. This is the story of Haitian communities helping other Haitians in a way that's independent and sustainable. And that was possible because of the work that's been done over the past few years to help these communities to become self-sufficient. This to me is a model of what we want to help Haiti develop, is a system where the communities are self-sufficient enough that when a disaster strikes, the communities help one another. Chris Herlinger, Church World Service, Haiti.